Bobby Wright with news and prophecy. <sighs> Are you hydrated? I used to hate water, but it's true what they say that the more you drink, the more you get used to it. Very important to be hydrated. Have your water here this morning listening to Prophecy and News. Pastor Bobby Wright right here with you. You still don't believe. Some of you still refuse to believe that we are living in the last days. That the things that are happening around the world are just coincidence. That it's always happened that uh, 12 minutes to midnight, 5,000 birds fell out of the sky in Arkansas on New York on, on New Year's Eve. Since then, the Bible prophecies in the world have proliferated, which means they've, they've come to pass quicker. Millions of dead fish, hundreds of dead cows, thousands of dead buffaloes, thousands of dead eagles, hundreds of dead whales. Has it fulfilled the Hosea prophecy? I want you to read the Hosea prophecy with me. Hosea 4, verse 1 says, Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing, committing adultery, they break out. And blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn, and every one that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beast of the field and with the fowls of the heaven. Yea, so the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to wake up. Bible prophecy is upon us in 2011. God is trying to warn us of a soon coming appearance of Jesus Christ. That ought to make you excited, not doubtful that the things are only coincidence, but ladies and gentlemen, they are real. They are fulfillments of the holy word of God. Twelve nations in the Middle East are protesting, rioting, and overthrowing their government, fulfilling Daniel 11, 41 and 45. Also, the four horsemen of the apocalypse was seen as a spirit riding through the streets of Cairo, Egypt. This is the burden of Egypt, Isaiah 19, 1 through 4. Natural disasters are increasing with a vengeance representing the wrath of God in such places as, listen, Christ Church, New Zealand, killing 146 people. Australian floods, leaving 200,000 homes destroyed. Mudslides of Brazil, killing 814 people. And of course, the 8.9 earthquake in Japan, the fifth largest in history, which leaves approximately 21,000 dead or missing and presumed dead in the aftermath of, aftermath of a 30-foot tsunami. The fate of six nuclear reactors. In Japan, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the last days. We are in the Hosea prophecy, the Daniel prophecy that was prophesied years before the year 2011. Skeptics say that it's an, only a coincidence that things are happening so fast that the earth is convulsing. That, that the Muslim population is growing with extreme Muslims in the world today that only want to kill and root out Israel, the children of Israel, and the American people and kill you where you are. The threat is real, ladies and gentlemen. The threat is real. Let me adjust my uh, camera here just a second. I'm sorry. I get excited and and uh, our cameraman at church has a time staying up with me because I like to walk and move while I preach. But folks, please wake up. Wake up and smell the roses. Know that the word of God has never, ever, ever missed a prophecy. It's 100% accurate. You can put your trust and your faith in the word of God. Will America collapse? No one knows. 
Will the economy go south? Will we go into another? Um, um, will we go into a, another depression? Will we have ration, rationing of food in this country? Will we become a third world nation before the Lord returns? Nobody knows the answer to those questions. But by the looks of our unemployment in this nation, by our debt of $14 trillion, politicians are celebrities now on the news instead of politicians doing their job in Washington, D.C., arguing over plans that don't make any sense. Ladies and gentlemen, this country is at a crossroad. Either we go back to trusting in the word of God or we fail. There's two answers to this question. There's a heaven, there's a hell. There's being saved, there's being lost. There's no middle of the road with God. You can play that game for a little while, but it will not last. It will not last. Let me get a drink of water. I'm getting tore up and excited here. Man, that water's good. It don't have any sugar in it. It don't make you more thirsty. And uh, I'm glad I like water. Drink your water. Stay hydrated. You're going to need it, praise God. You are going to need it. Prophecy in these last days. That's why we started this YouTube channel. To tell people, to keep people informed of the news, the daily news that's happening in this world. Boehner, Obama, the Republicans, the Democrats still haven't reached an agreement on the debt ceiling. What is our debt ceiling? Should we just keep on borrowing money from China in this country? until it breaks us into a Bolivia? You know, in America, when you borrow so much money, they say your debt to ratio has reached its limit. Um, us as American people, we have a limit on what we can borrow uh, considering what our collateral is, considering what we have to put up against that debt. But it seems America, $14 trillion in debt, can just keep on borrowing and think that it'll never catch up to them. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in trouble, and it started when we turned our back on Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Please, please, please know him as your Savior. Know him as your personal Savior in these last days. Jesus is coming back. It's so close. It's one second to midnight. Are you ready to meet the Lord? I love you. Whoever's listening to this video, I love you. I want to see you saved, whether you be Muslim uh, uh, extremist, terrorist, whatever you may be, it don't matter, murderer, whatever you've done, it can be forgiven, but only by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. No other gods will I have before me, the Lord said in the word of God. No other gods. And we have invited them all into our country. No wonder our system is failing. Pray for this nation. Pray for your leaders. Pray that God will save in these last days. Is it too late to be saved? No, it's never too late to be saved. But soon, soon after Jesus returns, the book will be closed. The door will be shut, just like it was on the ark in Noah's days. The word will be closed. The time will run out when you can no longer accept Jesus as your Savior. Accept him now. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Don't you want to be saved? Don't you want to know the Lord? Accept him into your heart. Say this, this prayer with me. Wherever you are, you don't have to be in a church. You don't have to come forward in front of all kind of people to be saved. But you can be saved right here on YouTube. Say this prayer from, with me. Jesus, I am a sinner. Father, I believe that you came to this earth in the flesh. I believe, Lord Jesus, that you died on a cross and I believe on the third day that you were resurrected from the dead. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Forgive me of my sins. Save me, Lord. Come into my heart and I'll live for you the rest of my life, Lord Jesus. I pray this prayer in your name. Amen and amen. If you prayed that prayer, please send me a personal message. Send me a personal message at Bobby, B-O-B-B-Y, www at bellsouth.net. Or you can just go to our website, praisetabernacle.net. You don't have to type in the www, the HTTP, colon, any of that. Just type in, go to Google, go up top of the address bar, type in praisetabernacle.net. 
go to our church website, click on the email icon there, and that will come personally to me. Send me a personal message and let me know that you've received Jesus as your personal Savior. Make sure in these last days, as preachers around the world bring you prophecy, true prophecy, not just hearsay, but true prophecy from the Word of God. Listen and watch the hand of the Lord. God bless you. I love you. This has been Pastor Bobby Wright.